breaking news. Nigerian court grant embattled as central bank governor, MFLA bail after five months in detention. Justice Lukayode Adeniye on Wednesday ordered that MFLA should be immediately released to his lawyers. Welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for this coming out here. If you're just joining us, please kindly don't forget to subscribe. Thank you very much. May God Almighty bless you all. Amen. The Federal Capital Territory High Court has granted the embattled former governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, CBA, Godwin Mefele B. Justice Ulukayo De Adini on Wednesday ordered that Mefele should be immediately released to his lawyers. Justice Adini, however, charged Mefele's lawyers with responsibility of producing him in court for his arraignment next week or at any other day. The judge ordered the MFLA to deposit his passport and travel document before the chief registrar of the court pending his arraignment. Justice Adini further pointed out that the MFLA should not be detained in perpetuity Without trial, the court noticed that MFLA had been detained for 151 days, adding that the Nigerian government and the Attorney General of the Federation must obey the rule of law. The substantive motion on notice, as well as the preliminary objection, we are joined to November 17 for hearing. MFLA was suspended by President Bola Tinubu on June 9 and subsequently arrested by the Department of State Service, DSS. MFLA was first charged with illegal possession of firearms and sponsoring terrorism by the DSS. In late October, Sahara reporters reported that MFLA briefly regained his freedom after he was released by the DSS. Sahara reporters learned that MFLA, who had been in DSS custody since June 9, was, however, picked up immediately by the Anti-Corruption Agency, Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC. MFLA regained his freedom last night, but he was immediately picked up by operatives of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, a top security source had told Sahara reporters. It was learned that the presidency directed the EFCC to take over the case. Sahara reporters had reported that MFLA was suspended square to the ongoing investigation of his office and the planned reforms in the financial sector of the economy. Released by Willie Bassi, the director of information for the secretary to the government of the federation, George Akume has also said, Mr. Mefele has been directed to immediately hand over the affairs of his office to the Deputy Governor Operations Directorate, who we act as the Central Bank Governor, pending the conclusion of investigation and, the, and reforms. Sahara reporters in February reported how the DSS attempted to arrest Mefele when Muhammad Buhari was Nigerian's president, but the then chief of defense staff, General Loki Rabel, shaded him by providing soldiers to guide his residence and office. The DSS had said it is it intensified its investigations in order to arrest and prosecute MFLA on allegations of terrorism, financing, and fraud. Sahara reporters had also reported that MFLA was set to be released from detention by the DSS after entering into plea bargaining with President Bola Tinubu's administration. Sahara reporters had gathered that the non-prosecution plea bargain for MFLA was premised upon the former governor's willingness to return $50 billion, which he had corruptly amassed.
MFLA and its associates were set for arrangement on 6.9 billion procurement front at the Federal Capital Territory High Court in August, but the arrangement was stalled. Sources had told Hara reporters that MFLA's arrangement was stalled because the Attorney General of the Federation, Latif, San was awaiting Tinubu's approval for it after signing the non prosecution plea bargain. President Tinubu was out of the country at the time. MFLA faced 20 counts of conspiracy and procurement fraud levied against him by the Nigerian government. However, the spokesperson for the Ministry of Justice, Modukbe, denied the existence of any non prosecution plea. Bagain involving MFLA. Modupe said, though the legal team representing MFLA had expressed its intention in court at the last hearing to initiate a plea bargain arrangement, no such agreement existed between the office of the AGF and the former CBN governor. I see no reason why MFLA would be treated like this. If he ought to be stressed by the judiciary, Buhari too must be arrested. Government and judges are all the same in this country. So guys, let's hear from you. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. If you are just joining us, please do not.